Here's your wrestling news for March 24th, 2021. If you like what you're watching, smash that like button and give us 1,000 likes or more. Your headlines for today include The campaign for Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair to main event WrestleMania goes viral. Dave Batista confirms he is missing WWE Hall of Fame. Former WWE wrestler has breaking news regarding RVD. Peacock edits controversial WWE WrestleMania match off streaming service. Bray Wyatt breaks silence with cryptic tweet aimed at Randy Orton. CM Punk sends a message to Bray Wyatt after WWE Raw return. What is Keith Lee's current WWE status after disappearing from Raw? Painful secret of a current WWE wrestler is revealed. Backstage reason why Aleister Black is missing from WWE SmackDown. WWE continues burying Paul Heyman's handpicked superstars and more. We're starting today with night one of WrestleMania, where SmackDown women's champion Sasha Banks will face Bianca Belair in a match many feel should headline the show. Given that the story is now focusing on the two competitors as opposed to the tag titles or Reginald, it's starting to feel like a main event worthy program, though that doesn't mean it'll headline the night. WWE has already announced that WWE Champion Bobby Lashley vs Drew McIntyre will close out night one, but that didn't stop Sasha Banks from making her feelings clear on Twitter. When the boss tweeted that her match with Bianca Belair should headline, that was enough to get hashtag main event Banks vs Belair trending, with several names from women's wrestling joining the cause. Names like Bayley, Mickie James, Chelsea Green, and Alundra Blaze all gave their support to the women's title match main eventing night one, and time will tell whether all this noise by superstars and fans alike forces WWE to change their plans for night one of next month's show. Would you like to see Banks vs Belair headline night one, or should it stay with Lashley vs McIntyre? Sound off in the comments. WrestleMania week will also see the 2020 and 2021 class of Hall of Fame inductees be inducted, but Batista won't be among them. As previously reported, WWE had pulled the animal from this year's Hall of Fame ceremony, and now Batista himself has confirmed he won't be inducted, as he gave a statement on Twitter to the WWE Universe. Unfortunately, due to previous obligations, I am unable to be a part of the WWE Hall of Fame this year. By my request, they have agreed to induct me at a future ceremony where I'll be able to properly thank the fans and people who made my career possible. A six-time WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Batista is certainly deserving of an induction, but the animal is happy to wait for a time when his schedule allows him to attend the ceremony. This year, WWE will induct both the 2020 and 2021 class of inductees into their Hall of Fame, with Molly Holly and Eric Bischoff receiving the nod in recent weeks. So far, those have been the only two confirmed as 2021 inductees, but now we have a potential spoiler on the next big name. Fightful Select is reporting that Rob Van Dam will be inducted this year, and after a successful career in practically every major wrestling company, it's an award he richly deserves. This news has also seemingly been confirmed by RVD's old ECW tag partner Sabu, who mentioned during a recent promo that the High Flyer will be inducted this year. We know that Van Dam will be getting a special on the network, which the former WWE and ECW champion said will release in June, and with he and WWE clearly on working terms, fans can expect a Hall of Fame announcement very soon. Are you pleased to see Van Dam be inducted, and who do you think should induct him? Let us know in the comments. Fans can watch plenty of RVD's career on the WWE Network on Peacock, but not every match in WWE history is making it to the streaming service's new home. Older fans will remember WrestleMania 6, which saw Roddy Piper face Bad News Brown, but that match has been edited out of the pay-per-view on Peacock. It's not hard to see why this decision was made, as this is the same match that Piper painted himself half black to mock his African-American opponent. It's expected that all of WWE's archives will be transferred over to Peacock by this summer, but don't expect the seven-minute match between Piper and Brown to be added anytime soon. At Fastlane 2021, Bray Wyatt returned from beneath the ring to continue his feud with Randy Orton, but according to The Fiend, this feud has been going on for far longer than fans would expect. On Twitter, Wyatt teased that this feud has been years in the making, as he shared a video of his time as Husky Harris being punted in the head by Orton in a moment that ended that character on TV. 
Using a quote from the Joker, Wyatt hinted that it was Orton who made him into the unbreakable monster he is today, a comment that caught the attention of CM Punk. After all, Punk was leading the Nexus at the time Harris was punted and said he warned Orton at the time, adding that he hopes Wyatt has forgiven him for whipping him during his Nexus initiation. It's been over seven years since Punk's last WWE match, but there are still fans hopeful for a return. And going by this tweet, the Straight Edge superstar hopes he doesn't have to cross paths with The Fiend. Not only did Wyatt return at Fastlane 2021, but he returned with a new demonic look, which accentuated him being burned last year, and now more details have emerged on the new design. It turns out that both the burnt mask and his new attire were created at Colossum Studios, with the entire project being supervised by horror movie effects legend Tom Savini. Savini is perhaps best known for being the man who gave horror fans Jason Voorhees, the star of Friday the 13th, but he's also worked on titles including Night of the Living Dead and From Dust Till Dawn. This isn't the first time Savini's team have worked with WWE, and fans will get to see his work in action when The Fiend faces Randy Orton at WrestleMania. Do you like The Fiend's new look, though? Let us know below! Whilst Wyatt is expected to be a huge part of WrestleMania, the same can't be said for Keith Lee, who's been missing from Raw since he defeated Riddle on the February 8th show. Lee was pulled from the US title match at Elimination Chamber and replaced by John Morrison, who took the pin in that triple threat match, which saw Riddle become champion. This week, Ringside News asked around about Lee vanishing from TV, and none of their sources know what's going on with the former NXT champion. What they do know is that Lee hasn't even been at the Thunderdome for TV tapings in weeks, which doesn't bode well for his career in WWE. It was previously reported that Vince McMahon doesn't see the it factor in Lee, though that could only be part of the story. But for now, the Limitless One has apparently found his limit on the main roster. If you've read Incomparable, the autobiography of the Bella Twins, you'll know that Nikki Bella had a rough time growing up, and that included a man forcing himself on her in high school twice. This week, Nikki addressed what happened to her on the Bella Twins podcast and said, so many people hold on to that for so long and never say anything, like what we saw in the hashtag MeToo movement. Even think of my story. I didn't talk about it 20 years after the fact, and I held on to it, and I think if I would have talked then, then different decisions I would have made after that, or I would have gotten help sooner. What I realized is that it makes you hate yourself and treat yourself in bad ways as far as, you know, certain ways, eating habits, or certain people turn to drugs or alcohol. Self-sabotage big time. And if you're a woman, it's how you let a man treat you in a relationship. And I realized I was kind of doing that. What happened to me is I went, maybe I don't deserve better because I thought maybe it was my fault. And if I would have talked to someone, then maybe they would have given me the courage and the strength. But I started going down a path where I could tell that I wasn't treating myself like well at all, inside and out, with respect. Thankfully, Nikki Bella was able to overcome that awful part of her life, but the pain certainly remains. Hopefully, she can be an example to others that terrible events don't have to define your life, as she's gone on to have a wildly successful career that'll culminate with a Hall of Fame induction next month. We mentioned earlier how Keith Lee hasn't been used in WWE for a while, but he's not the only star to go underutilized. For over five months, Aleister Black has been absent from WWE TV, last being seen when he was drafted to SmackDown last October, and there's been speculation about his future with WWE. It's been speculated that Black's relationship with WWE is frosty ever since they unceremoniously fired his wife, Thea Trinidad. Now, Dave Meltzer on Wrestling Observer Radio is reporting that Black has suffered minor injuries which have kept him off TV, though it's unclear when Black was injured. Hopefully these injuries won't keep Black out for much longer, as he's expected to miss this year's WrestleMania, and the longer he's away from WWE TV, the worse it'll be for his career. Even if Aleister Black was on TV, we doubt WWE would be treating him right, and that wouldn't be his own fault, but because he was one of Paul Heyman's favorites during the latter's tenure as Raw Executive Director. Ever since Heyman was removed from the position and replaced by Bruce Prichard, WWE has seemingly gone out of its way to bury those superstars Heyman was high on, which includes the former NXT Champion. During Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer discussed how Andrade was one of the people Heyman wanted to push, and his career quickly nosedived once the ECW alum was removed from the role. Meltzer also referenced Black, Buddy Murphy, and Angel Garza, who were once Heyman's favorites, who are now all suffering with him gone from power. 
Some have even referred to those Heyman wanted to push as the SmackDown catering crew, as despite all their talent, it seems WWE refuses to push and will even go out of their way to bury anyone that Paul Heyman once considered to be the future of WWE. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.